Well, we woke up this morning and um, it's been snowing. We're staying over in, uh, in just near Durham for a few days. And uh, because of that, I haven't brought my camera with me because it was, it was not a photographic trip. So what I've got is a camera that goes everywhere with me, my little Sony um, A6000 mirrorless, which I quite often use for making the videos actually. But you know, I, I do use it obviously for taking photographs as well. So we've got such an opportunity today with the, with the snow coming down as it is and we're absolutely in the middle of nowhere we're staying about 15 miles outside of durham and uh you know there's no there's no mobile signal here there's no data there's no internet there's no nothing so it's uh it's quite a relaxing place to be but when you wake up at in a, in a, on a day like this and it's snowing it's, it's it, what an opportunity to go out and take some photographs and uh the, the mist is here the snow is here you literally cannot see more than about 250 yards it's it's an amazing day so we're going to we're going to see what we can do with this little um sony a6000 um not really quite prepared for the day but we've had a bit of a walk and we found a tree over there and um it's it's kind of on the horizon a little bit you can't see the fence in the background there's a few kind of bushes to the left or right and i might i may well get rid of those afterwards but um as usual you're, you're never prepared for these things when you see them but i do have my little sonny with me so we are going to take a little picture here um what i'm going to do is kind of just have a look there uh, it's important on manual and the great the great thing about these cameras these mirrorless cameras is and particularly the optical viewfinder you get you get a live view of exactly what you're going to take a picture of so unlike a dslr where you kind of get you know the, the newer dslrs do have uh, live histograms and some to some extent exposure um exposure peaking but this one's really got it built in so you can see exactly straight away which parts of the frame are going to get overexposed which parts of the frame are going to be underexposed um and when, when you're shooting in snow like this it's it's absolutely perfect so um we're just going to take a picture of, of that tree again i'm on manual and uh let's just have a look so we quite well in just to get the, the exposure that i want i'm going to put the tree just on the third and i am at a thousandth of a second f10 because it is it is really quite bright out here although there's a lot of mist around and although there's a lot of um you know it's a lot it's a lot of snow so it's very it's a very white scene but um absolutely uh great because there's not much per, per, post processing required because that mist has, has kind of just taken away the background so it doesn't matter whether there's trees behind it or buildings or tractors or anything like that because the tree is just kind of set, set on its own by um, by the mist so yeah let's get back and uh, hopefully that'll be uh, a half decent image Uh, just a bit more of a walk. Found this um, found this uh, old uh, billbox here, and uh, you know once again the um, the background is completely gone due to the mist that's that's caused by the snow. So it's another great opportunity just to take a picture of a, an object that um, has got absolutely no background, doesn't require any post processing. So it's just a really good frame. Now this this might not be a great picture, but we'll give that a go. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so once again, I'm going to be on manual. Um, and uh, this, this time we need to be a bit, uh, a bit more careful because I've got the, the snow coming across the front of the frame. But I don't, do not want to get um, snow on the front of this lens. Um, even though it's just a little camera, don't want to ruin the, uh, the frame. So we're going to be super careful. Just going to zoom in a little bit. Once again, i just take there and away we go. So a couple of frames there. Um, what's going on manual? Thousands per second, uh, F10. And... Um, Hopefully that, that picture will come out. But the great thing about these, these snow pictures, as I've said, it, it just makes the background so easy. It's just so simple, so simplistic in their, um, in their formation of these pictures that um, you know, it just makes composition potentially really easy. As long as you can find the things that, um, that, that kind of stick out. Let's take a bit more of a walk and see what else we can find. So a little bit more of a walk up the lane and um, found this tree here just, just in this field and uh, it's got a wall underneath it's kind of just running off into the, 
into the distance and because of the because of the mist that's around today in this in this lovely snowy conditions um the, the wall just gets fainter and fainter and fainter and once again this is an opportunity to take a picture um without the need to post process because you know that would be not a massive task in, in photoshop but it's something that would, that would definitely need doing to create that that image so yeah once again it's got my little sony r6000 we're gonna we're gonna use this I think the settings will be fairly consistent with the, the couple I've taken already. So this is probably going to be about the same. Let's have a look. I just uh, have a little shifty there. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're shooting at about one four hundredth of a second here. Um, F10. So let's just take that. And let's just take another one, just the same. There we go. And, you know, because because I wasn't planning on a photographic trip this time, you know, I've got this little camera with me, which goes with me pretty much everywhere. I've got no tripod, got no filters, got no, got no DSLR, but, you know, they always say the best camera you've got is the one you've got with you. So today, that's my Sony.